Hello and welcome to the Gold and Silver Club Week Ahead Commodity Report, the non-members edition for the 9th to the 13th of May 2016, presented by myself, Phil Carr, at the Gold and Silver Club. So today we will be analysing the latest developments in the commodity markets. We'll be discussing our outlook for the week ahead. The live session will be covering commodity insights, so a snapshot of the latest developments in the markets. We'll cover our top trades of the week using our exclusive research-driven strategies and, of course, will review our market spotlight, so our featured commodity this week. So let me introduce you to the Gold and Silver Club. The Gold and Silver Club is the number one commodities trading and investment coaching company. We are regarded as the go-to authority on commodities trading. As internationally respected experts, our analysis and our opinions on the metals, the energies and the agricultural markets, they're routinely sought by major financial television channels and publications, which include Bloomberg, Reuters, CNBC, the Financial Times, the Wall Street Journal, to name a few. Our team of experts has trained and mentored over 100,000 private traders from all over the world to increase their wealth and generate substantial income through commodities using our exclusive research-driven strategies. So for more information on the Gold and Silver Club and our expertise, please just feel free to visit our website, which is at www.thegoldensilverclub.com. Com. Now, moving over to Commodity Insights, a snapshot of the latest developments in the commodity markets. We've again continued to see very strong investment demand in the commodities complex. You can see here we've seen overall increase in combined managed money positions for the energies, for the metals, for the grains and the softs. Most notably last week was a significant move that we saw to the upside in inflows into metals again. In fact, we saw increased net long positions increase by up to 27% by the close last week week and overall bullish commodity positions they're holding above 1 million lots for a second week i would definitely draw your attention to as well as gold soybeans and sugar also we've seen very strong inflows into those markets which has offset some of the selling pressure that we've seen over oil and also platinum in the last week now if we move over and just Go into a little bit more detail on the gold net long positions at the moment. We're currently seeing those near 2011 all-time record highs. So again, we've seen very strong demand from money managers, institutions, investors, as we've continued to see very strong inflows into the gold market. Our proprietary research has shown us hedge funds continue to accelerate their gold buying. In fact, we saw another gold breakout on Friday after the non-farm payroll numbers were released, which came in at 160,000 jobs added for April versus versus 200,000 jobs, which was forecast. We initially saw the US dollar sell off and gold breaking out to the upside. There's a lot of strong hands that remain in the gold market at the moment. Essentially, you've got strong overhead resistance at the moment on gold, which is sitting just above 1,300 US dollars per ounce. And if we were to get a break above that key level of resistance, this is where you could start to see a lot of follow through above those levels. You would see additional buy orders get triggered and you would see then short covering. So traders would start to get stopped out of sell positions and with that, we could see quite a, a big short-term pop to the upside. If we were to get another retest above the 1300s and break that level, at the moment where gold is sat currently, it's had a retest. Come, it's come back down to the 1,265 US dollars per ounce level. And around these levels, I would be looking to see if we will have a buying opportunity over the next couple of days. Here, we've come back down to a key support zone, and ultimately, with a very strong investment demand into the gold market, I'm looking for additional buying opportunities opportunities right now. Also, soybeans. So the soybean net long positions are currently at their highest record in two years. Now, we've monitored soybeans very closely over the course of this year. We continue to actually be in a long position on soybeans. It's had a runaway move over 2016 so far. Soybeans, currently it's up 17% in 2016. The only other market which is beating soybeans in terms of performance are both gold and silver. So soybeans is very firmly right up there as one of the best performing commodities of 2016 so far. Hedge funds expect more gains ahead. They've increased their net long positions to a massive 167,554 lots, which is the highest level on record since April 2014. So with that said, the commodity spotlight, our featured commodity this week is going to be soybeans. So I'll just turn your attention to the soybean chart at the moment. So soybeans right now, it is continuing to build up some strong momentum to the upside here. We're actually coming back to retest the swing highs of 2016. You can see we're sitting at very key resistance at the moment. Now, what I would be paying a lot of attention to over this week is Tuesday's USDA report. So the US Department of Agriculture, they will be issuing their monthly world 
load supply and demand estimates. That will happen on Tuesday. And this could be a catalyst for a breakout trade. And if we do get a, another breakout here to the upside on soybeans, we could really start to see a runaway move in development. If you go over to the higher time frames here, you will see we're in a strong basing formation at the moment in so soybeans, where you've got overhead resistance which is sitting between the 1050 to the 1065 zone if we were to get a break and a pop above those levels we could see some incredible follow through on this market soybeans is absolutely a market that you want to have on your radar again it's up 17 percent so far in 2016 and you don't want to miss these lucrative trading opportunities we do continue to have a buy position on soybeans since we broke out earlier on in the year once we broke through critical resistance at the 922 zone and we have now the opportunity potentially to have another follow through move here so of course if you would like to be kept updated on the exact entries exit the take profits that we are looking at for soybeans for gold for silver for brent crude oil light sweet crude oil the other commodities that we trade you can get access to that via the gold and silver club live traders room so i'll talk you through that very shortly before we do so we'll just take a look at our top trades of the week using the gold and silver club exclusive research driven strategies so we've first of all we've banked out of our soybean our second position here on Friday where we came back up for a major test of overhead resistance it couldn't quite penetrate that level we've taken 670 points profit off the table we do have another position a longer term trade running at the moment on soybeans as it comes into the USDA report this week which we'll be monitoring very closely to see whether we can get some good follow through on that announcement whether we get a catalyst for a breakout we've also had an opportunity to sell into palladium which in the short term has become overbought we had an opportunity to sell off from a major level of resistance just taking that back down to the lower end of the trend channel for 370 points of profit and Brent crude oil also once we've actually hit our short-term profit target to the upside we've also had an opportunity on oil here to reverse our position and go short and sell it back down to the lower end of its supportive zone just within its natural cycle once oil got too overextended on the buy side for 310 points of profit so if you would like access to our exclusive live trading ideas ready to implement for instant results of course there is an opportunity opportunity for you to gain access to that via the private members live trading room. Whether you're a new trader, you're looking to develop a solid understanding of the markets and fast track your results, or if you're an experienced trader, you're looking to take your trading to the next level, then the private members live trading room is definitely for you. As a member, you get access to the following exclusive weekly live trading room webinars. You have live trade setups ready to implement real time trade notifications. So you never miss a profitable trade. You get the exact details of where we are entering, exiting and placing our stop loss on each trade. We provide you with live trade setup support to help you successfully through each trade. You get customized technical charts and indicators to boost your win rate on every trade and also exclusive access to our proprietary trading research to give you the ultimate edge in the markets, of course, plus much more. So to get exclusive access to the private members live trading room, all you need to do is go to www.jointhegoldensilverclub.com, complete the application form, and we'll get in touch with you ASAP. Okay, so it's www.jointhegoldensilverclub.com. And of course, if you have any questions, you can contact us at either our UK office, our US office, our Africa office, or our Asia office. Our UK office number is 0207 193 -0403. Our US number is plus one six four six eight zero eight zero four zero three. Our Africa office is plus two seven one one zero eight three eight four zero three. And our Asia office is plus eight five two eight one nine one zero four zero three. I thoroughly look forward to working with those of you who will be joining us at the Golden Silver Club and we shall speak to you all very soon. Thanks, guys. Bye bye.